tonight we're going to try and recreate this little gnome. We're just doing a little quick project tonight. And I'm doing this on a um, dollar store cutting board, little cutting board thing. So that's what we're making tonight. All right. So like I said, just a little quick, quick project tonight. We're going to start with some um, winter blue and some white, and we're going to base in the background. Hi, Terry. All right, so let's grab a little flat. I got a little flat brush here. And I'm just going to take my, don't mind my messy plate. I got a lot of things going on in here. So I'm just going to take a bit of those two colors, and we're just going to that on there. I'm going to start with some more blue than white, I think. We'll get that on there first. So I'm just introducing some white into my background and I'm just kind of slip slapping that on there. Hi, Susan. So like I said, this is just a little quick project that I had drawn up for tonight. A little Easter gnome. Hi, Pat. So I think you know, if you want to add more white up here at the top, you can until you're happy, you know, until I'm happy with how it looks. Okay, so we're going to give that a little dry. Thank you, Pat. Hello, Terry, newbie from sunny Southern California. Rub it in. <laughs> It's not quite sunny and warm here yet. Hi, Judy. I think that's pretty good. So we can bring our line drawing over here. And get started on this guy. Oh, she's Crafty USA is up next. Thank you, Pat. Make sure you pop over there and have a look at what's going on. Doing well, Sandy. How about you? Okay. So let's get these little ears on here. We're late night painting tonight. I can feel a sneeze <laughs> coming on here. Sorry, excuse me if I sneeze, <laughs> but I can feel it. I was like, oh, what am I going to do? All right, so we're not going to put those little bunny ears on his slippers just yet. We're going to put those in after we get his beard on there. So we'll just put his feet in for now. I think that is good. We'll get this guy based in here. So I'm just going to use a little bit of blush pink to fill in my ears and my hat. Hello, Tracy. 
And there's Eileen. Yeah, you know me, Lori. Laura's always up for a gnome. For sure. So I did want to mention that my membership group is open right now for new members. And if you want to paint this little guy, I'm going to pop that in there in the membership group, this line drawing for my members. So if you want to paint this one, if you become a member, you can also grab this little line drawing to paint this guy. And this would be cute on a little tiered tray or something, just as your little, if you're a Nomi fan, I mean, you can prop this up on your tiered tray or as a little decoration. And also, we just finished our little Highland Cow. I'm not sure if you guys saw that painting we did in a little challenge that we did um, just last week. But if you're still, it's not available anymore, but if you're still interested and want to paint that one, it is also free in my membership group as well. If you were wanting to get in on that one and missed out. We have some gnome lovers in the group right now. Like I said, this is just a quick little painting that, you know, just for fun. Get this one in here. Get this one finished here, I mean. And um, these don't take too long because we only have 45 minutes for our segments. So I try not to do anything too, too crazy that takes too long to paint. So we want to, you know, and it's fun to do these little quick projects with some kind of quick satisfaction. Hi, Debbie. So I'm just going to dry that quick. So this is just a Bahama blue color, it's called. A little lighter than a teal. All right. Um, will he be in the albums in the, oh, Felicia in the, uh, hub most likely at some point. Yes. But I'll post it on the main group page in on Facebook here as well. When I go in, I'll post it on the, uh, members page. So I'm just using some slate gray to base in his beard. So this will be kind of the base color of his beard. So that we can see our white hairs once we start painting those in. Sorry for the flipping. I'm just trying to get the bottom of this. And we'll base his little slippers the same color as his hat. And then we'll start doing some shading and we'll get his nose based in here in a second. Okay. So the little slippers, I said the same color as this hat. So let's get those filled in. So 
I'm just kind of outlining them first and then I'm going to fill them in with a bigger brush. And his nose, I think I'm going to use a little bit of, I used a little bit of buttermilk on his nose this time. I didn't go more so with the pink shades. I went with a buttermilk color. And then we'll give all of this a quick dry. And then we can start adding some details. Some shading and all that good stuff. All right, there we have the basing done, the basic basing. We got our trusty angled brush here and we're going to, you probably can't see that, but there's our Razzleberry and I'm just going to grab a little bit of that black and kind of mix it down. Not that much black. I just want a little hint. So it's going to bring it down to um, a really dark sort of berry color, I guess. All right, and we're going to start, let's start here at the bottom of his hat band. Get some more water on my brush. I'm just going to go right along the bottom edge of that. And then we have that little bit of a, just above the hat band is what I'm trying to say. Spread it out, Yvette. <laughs> it's hard to talk and paint at the same time, I guess. Hi, Inga. Welcome. New to our page. Now, I didn't have time to put the crap around the clock. Pat, are you still here? Are you still hanging with me, girl? If you are, can you pop up the crap around the clock um, link in the comments for me? I would love you for it. I didn't have time to post it at the top of my post, and I would really like people to go over there and join that group all right i'm still going to carry on with that same razzleberry and <laughs> oh yeah it's the razzle it just brings it down kind of like a to a uh, black plum they have a color called black plum that i use but I don't have very much of it left, so I just kind of mix these two colors and it brings it down to close to that. I think black plum is even darker than this one. This is this that I mixed, but it's close. Oh, thank you, Pat. There's the, the uh, link to the craft around the clock group. My sweet friend Pat did that for me. Thank you so much. So make sure you pop over there and um, join that group. 
So I'm just going to go under the bow here with that same color. And then we're going to do his ears with this as well. And this kind of lightened down a bit. We're going to darken that up just a little bit more. My video keeps refocusing. It's probably my camera above my head that's having a little issue. Probably because I'm moving around so much. It sometimes um, does that. I don't know why. All right, so we're going along the bottom edge of the ear, and we're going to bring a little line up just for that fold in his ear. And we'll do the same on this side while we still have that enough paint in our brush. And then we'll go along this top edge of the bow, and just along that tiny little bottom edge there. Okay, and then I'm just going to leave this sideways for a second. I'm going to do the uh, bottom edges of his flippers in this same color. So let's get those in there. Okay. All right. Oh, that's okay. You can do it later for sure. Um, let's, see. let's just dry this fast. I'll get a little bit of, I'm going to highlight his hat and everything with a little bit of baby pink or poodle skirt pink, I think it was, but it's very close to baby pink. This color right here. We'll do a little highlight on his ears with that color. There's so much water in this brush. I can see that camera refocusing every few seconds. I don't know why it's doing that. Normally doesn't. Having a little fit tonight. All right, so we got that on there. And then how are we doing for time? We'll put a little bit along the top edge of this hat band. And then we can bring a little bit of that pink in through the center here. Oops. We went down too far into our shade, so let's just get rid of that and we'll bring some of this in here. All right, I'm also, thank you, Jane, that's really sweet. 
Hey, Jenna. All right, so we're just putting a little highlight on the slippers with that light pink color too. And then we'll work on his bow. So I just used a little bit of, I believe it's mermaid tail that I used to shade the bow. Let's get this center in here. Now, if you don't follow my page as well, make sure you give me a follow as well so that you can come back and watch some more fun painting tutorials. Thank you, Inga. Hopefully he'll be cute when I get him done. All right, so we have that. We're going to dry that real quick. All righty, let's get a little more of that blue. And I want to darken that up a little bit in the center and down here on the bottom. Kind of washed out a little bit. My brush is holding water crazy these days. I don't know what the heck. Might have to do a deep clean on it or something. Okay. What next? Let's get a little desert sand happening for the um, shade on his nose. And I think I might even bring in a little bit of burnt umber on his nose. Let's see how that looks. You might regret it, but we might not. Let's get that on there. Let's grab a little bit of burnt umber. Just for a little darker edge on the bottom edge of his nose. So it pops out a little bit more. There we go. All right. I'm self-taught, Shanna. All right, we're going to start working on some beard hairs. I'm going to grab my number one. I think I have a one or a two or something like that round brush. And I'm going to get some clean white. We're going to start bringing that beard in there. Wow, 45 minutes just flies by. Just flies by. Hi, Linda. All right, so I'm just going to start over here and start pulling some directional hairs in here. I want to get a little more water in that white. It comes off the brush a little better. Whoops. We got a little crazy there. We got a little crazy. And I'm just kind of bringing them down in the shape of my little beard here, just so we can get the direction going. And I've pulled some off the side of that gray area there under the beard. And we just put the gray there so that when we kind of like gives his beard a little bit of a two-tone because you can see under there that bit of gray and it just makes his beard pop out a little bit better. And I'm just pulling those very light touch on my brush. I'm not touching the surface very much at all.
reload as I need to. Thanks for sprinkling. Just have to water down your white to um, make it like an inky consistency and it will come off your brush to do these little hair strokes a little bit better because um, if it's full on just the regular thickness of the paint, it just kind of blobs on there. So you want to, you know, water it down just a bit and then it'll flow off there nicely. I'm just going to flip this this way because I want to kind of get my hand going in the right direction here. We're going to do this side as well. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to pull some of those hairs in. And don't worry if some are thin, some are thick. It's okay. This is just the first coat. And it really doesn't matter because gnome beards are, you know, they're a little messy looking anyways. That's the way they're supposed to be. All right. So let's get these in here. These the last few. So you can see it's starting to take shape already, you know, looking like a beard. Get this last little bit filled in. And that'll sort of be our first coat of the beard. So we're going to dry this and I'm going to go over it again and just kind of fill it in a little bit more. I don't want to go over it too much with this first coat because I don't want to lose the gray under there. I don't want to fill it in um, completely because I want to see some of that gray under there. Sorry, I have a really raspy throat tonight. All right, so let's give that a quick dry in. Hi, Kelly. And then we'll go over that a little bit more and we'll shade it a bit. And then we'll get his bunny uh, ears on his slippers. Get those based in. And then we can add some dry brushing in. We're just, we got a few things to do yet. Uh -oh. Thank you, Cynthia. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go back in with that same brush, same white, and we're just going to, you know, fill it in a little bit more. Again, don't do not do full coverage. You still want to see a bit of that gray peeking out under there. But you want to make it a little more fluffy here and there. And I'm not doing the complete thing. I'm just kind of throwing them in randomly here and there. And this just sort of spruces up that white color and it brightens it up a bit. And then you just do that until you're happy. So that's the way it looks. Kind of stand back and have a little look at it. See, I'm liking the way the beard looks just like that. So I think I'll stop because, you know, you could go on forever if you wanted to thank you cindy all right so we're just going to get this dried i'm going to shade around his nose and um just under his hat a little bit with a little bit of dark gray which i'm going to just use the gray that i used for the underside of his beard and a little bit of black i'm just going to darken that kind of down to a neutral gray color I don't want it to be completely black because we got a lot of pastel colors happening here. And if I put black on here, it might take over everything. So I just want to get rid of those um, little stray hairs that where we started because they can look a little bit jagged. So I kind of like to just make those blend in a little bit. And then you can, you know... Pull that down into his beard a smidge here and there that's left on your brush a little dirty there all right 
like that. So we just have that little shadow under there. So I have the line drawing with his little um, his little bunny feet here, his bunny ears on his slippers. I'm just going to draw them in just to save some time of messing around. So I'm just going to put two little ears here and we're going to fill those in with that blush pink color. So they just kind of look like they're poking out of his beard under out through his beard I guess from his slippers. Okay. All right, so we have his little ears from his slippers. We'll dry those. We got 10 minutes left. And we'll shade those with the same as the hat and um, with the dark razzleberry and a little bit of black mixed in the razzleberry. So let's get that on our brush. Um, I do have a telegram channel. If you have telegram, I do have a telegram channel. I can pop that link up when I'm done here. Or I do post on here on my business page. So if you follow the page, you can uh, see the post here. So I do try to announce when I'm going live. All right, let's dry that. Let me finish up these little slippers down here. So I'm just going to take some white and kind of highlight that other side of the slipper ears. Okay, so we have those in place. Now, if, you know, normally I would take a little bit of that dark gray color again and shade around those. Let's try and see if we can get that done. So, you know, just to give it a little bit of a shadow in here so that they don't, they'll pop out a little bit better with a bit of a shadow around them. And I think I'm, that's a bit too much there. I just looked up and saw that. Just want a little bit on there. Not like I'm doing. I need to lighten up a little bit on that. So let's see if we can take some of that off with some water. Got a little dark on this side. We may have to leave it. I don't have time to play with it. I think you get the idea. It did get a little dark there. Let's take a little white and see if we can knock that down just a smidge. You know, it's always, always fixable. Okay, 
So I want to take my liner brush. I'm going to put a little stitching onto the top of his flippers. Just checking time there. So we just put some little stitches down the front side of his slippers. And I do want to outline my bow. So I'm just going to use some black for that. And it's very light touch. I'm using a 10-0 liner. I mean, it's barely touching the surface. So it's a really fine line. We'll put some little wrinkle marks in our bow. Yes, I have been busy, Susan. Okay, so our bow's done. So let's take a little bit of, I'm gonna have my little quarter inch uh, stencil brush here. I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of, maybe if I can get it to come off the brush. Hi, Roxana. All right, so let's just dry brush a little bit of white on there. My brush is not complying. It's so saturated with paint right now. <laughs> Let's just keep trying. There we go. So I'm just dry brushing a bit of a highlight on my ears. I really need to clean this brush out clearly. All right, we got five minutes to add some little embellishments on this guy what can we do i want to just i want to shade around the outer edge of him a little bit but and i want to add a few uh, more hairs little stray hairs on his beard so i think we might get that far So on the outer edge, I did use the winter blue to make and white to um, do the background, but you can take some plain winter blue and just put a little shadow, a darker shadow around the outer edge here, just so that you can, you know, give it a little depth in here. Under his feet, if you like. And then I'll put a little bit up here in between his ears. And then I'm going to do a little bit more of his beard. I'm going to use my liner brush to add some little stray hairs. So my, my little 10 zero liner, and then I'm going to grab some of my white and we watered it down again. And this is where we can, you know, you can bring some out from the edges, you know, little stray ones out here. I like to bring some up onto his hat like that. Um, and you know, you can just, kind of line in those little stray hairs wherever you want to. Just gives it another layer. Can you guys see that okay? Or is it too far away? Should I zoom in? You're just basically going along the edge and adding a few little strays here and there. So 
All right. And we have two minutes. And I think I did do some, some dots here along the hat band. And I did them in white, but I think I'm going to do them this time in that, um, I think I'm going to do them in that mermaid tail color. Let's just do that. Let's see what that looks like. Just so they show up a bit more. Give it a little something. And then I'll do a little highlight line with some white on his nose. Put a dot or two and a little highlight line. And I mean, you can do the same thing uh, on the slippers, put little highlight lines there and on his ears, you know, just as a little something extra. Thank you, Donna. On the bow, you can add a little something there. And I think my time is up. So this one will be in um, the membership group. If you are interested in the membership group, I will pop the link up here um, after I get off. And I'll also post this line drawing in the membership group for my members to paint one if they choose. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.